One of the most frustrating things as an author has been that with Ask Data, as an author, you've had to sort of jump across so many hoops to get things to work nicely. In 22.2, Tableau is trying to make that considerably easier. Let's get stuck in and find out how. Okay, so we're here in desktop. We're gonna go vanilla and connect to a data source right from the get-go. I'm gonna go ahead and select this Tableau server. This should really say Tableau server, Tableau cloud. But in my case, I'm already logged into my Tableau cloud instance and you can see that I've got a data source. Now this top one here, I know for a fact already has an Ask Data Lens. And I'm gonna start with that to show you the capability. Then we'll create a lens here in desktop. Let's go ahead and click on that. And when we do, you can see it's got a data quality warning to let me know that this is actually deprecated, but we're gonna go ahead and connect to it anyway. So let's go ahead and connect to it. Let's just hit connect. Uh, if, if it actually works, it will, it will connect through and we'll see everything's working. And when I hover over this little icon, it does actually give me a deprecated warning just there, but that's fine because I did that for a demo for this demo like this pretty much. But here we are. Now, what I need to do is very quickly build a dashboard, build something just to show you this working. So let me go ahead, put profit quantity. Let's go ahead and put product name on detail and we'll get a nice scatter plot that allows us to see something very, very quickly. Let's see if we can put profit ratio on color. That is almost the standard speed speed build uh, challenge as it were. So let's go ahead, put that in the dashboard. Let's put sheet two over there. And there we go, we've got a very simple dashboard but I actually want to give users the ability to ask their own data. So I'll create another dashboard. And for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to the bottom left-hand side. There's a little ask data object. We can go ahead and drag that into the canvas. And when we do, this time around, unlike before, it actually gives you this interface. And this interface shows you the existing lenses. Uh, you can go ahead and choose one that was created before. And you can see that this was actually uh, modified. Um, it was modified a while ago, but I actually just created it before this demo to make sure that this works. So we'll first go ahead and select this one, 21.4 lens, and we'll go ahead and click OK. And we'll come back to that configuration pane in a second once you see that the Ask Data Lens is actually working without me having to go to the browser or do anything. So a nice big quality of life improvement. It's just a lot more seamless. Before you'd get bugs and sort of weird quirks having to do it in different places. Now, let's say you wanna change this. Maybe you wanna change the lens. You can go over here to the little drop down, select configure, and it brings that interface back in. You can of course go somewhere else. You can go connect to another data source. I've only got this one data source with the lens, so this is all you're gonna see. But I've also got this little icon here what this allows me to do is to go and see the lens in Tableau Server. So let's go ahead and click on that. I said Tableau Server, I meant Tableau Cloud or Tableau Online if you're using old terminology. And when you get here, you see the lens and you're probably thinking, well, how do I edit this? Well, you just go over here to the very top left-hand side and you can edit the fields that are available in this particular lens, add them, submit that change, and then that's all done. And it's going to reflect when the user uses Ask Data in the dashboard. Now, if we go back to the dashboard here, you can see that I've obviously got the ability to create a new lens. That's just right here at the bottom left-hand side. And what this will do is it will just grab all the fields you've got at the moment and use that in the lens. Remember, this is a published data source, so the lens capability is technically being done in the cloud. And because desktop is essentially sending this request up, it's essentially the same as doing the request over in uh, the Tableau cloud. So now when you do that, you saw very briefly that it created a new lens, and then it drops you right back into the Ask Data experience as you'd expect once that gets going. It can sort of take a while because it's just working through the browser, but when it gets going, it loads up absolutely fine and you're pretty much good to go. If you wanna configure that again, go over to the configure tab and you can go ahead and select that particular source, go over to the browser and you're pretty much good to go. So everything is sort of nicely contained inside a desktop. You can make changes, you can save these changes. It's all gonna be absolutely fantastic. Now, if I go back to this uh, configuration pane again, there's a couple more options just down here that I can actually configure here from desktop. So I can give users the ability to add visualizations to pin, pins, publish as a workbook or share the visualization. I can tick or untick those options as I wish as an author without having to go to the browser. So this is a really nice quality of life improvement because it just means that I don't have to leave this workspace and this is where I spend my time and this is where I do my work. So that's a nice improvement to our data. It feels a lot smaller than it actually is, but it's actually a really big quality of life improvement, I think, to the way that our data works. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this is a good enhancement? Is there something missing from this? Am I bigging it up more than it should be? Let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.